right, good morning everybody. I'm finally out and about again today. We're gonna to be metal detecting this area today. I've got the Nocta Macro Simplex and I got the large coil, a double D coil. And I'm gonna be hitting this area today. This used to be an old area where homes used to be. Doesn't look like it. As you can see back there, that's the only home that's remaining here. But let's go in here, let's take a look and I'll get back to you. All right guys, I had a screamer down here. It was hitting in at 85. It wasn't too deep. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start poking around there. Let me see what I can get. Ground is pretty hard, it's pretty cold today. Uh oh, there's something crunchy down there. Might be, might be some iron, but not in the 95s. Probably an aluminum can, possibly. Yeah, I see something there. You see it down there? I'm gonna pop it out. Yeah, it's pretty big. Maybe that's why it was. Um, hitting pretty high yeah, it seems to be some sort of aluminum I'm not real sure it's really tucked in there too oh, pretty big yeah looks like it could be a piece of uh, tin that's what I'm guessing oh, yeah I'm not going to be able to get that out but I might be able to get a piece of it yeah, you can see it. it's probably just a piece of tin. It's not copper or anything. All right, let's try again. I'll get back to you. Okay, I got something down here. It looks kind of tinnish. See that right there? Don't know what that is. Probably a can of some kind, maybe. It's a little big for a can. Yeah. Oh. It looks really pretty interesting actually it's kind of square it doesn't look like a can let me see let me try to extract it this way oh really interesting looking i can't actually tell it's square oh and it's in there good okay what do we have here what do you think that is? Anyway, I put it down. It was hitting in a nice signal. It looks like some sort of uh, electric piece here. See, it's got the ceramic piece there. Something under it. Yeah, it's some sort of electrical piece. I've never seen anything like this. Um, well, if you guys know what it is, it almost, it almost opens like an old lighter. See that? And this piece obviously slides in there somehow. Yeah, I can't, I can't close it. It's still too, too rusted out. But look at that. Hmm. Really interesting piece. I'm going to hold on to this. I like it. All right, I shall get back to you. And again, it was only down about three inches. Okay, I'll get back to you. Okay, I've been finding some pretty decent signs. <clears throat> There's probably stuff out here. See this little bottle down here? It looks like it's paneled. All right, let's see what it is. All right, it is a screw top. It is a machine bottle. Don't see anything on the base. Uh, just the number nine on the base there. Okay, but that's that's a good sign. You know, this could be from the 30s, possibly 40s, but uh, still pretty good nonetheless. And over here, you see what I see? Another pail type thing. That's pretty. That's much older. I would think that would be 20s. All right. 
So again, I'm gonna keep it up. You see broken pieces of glass over there? I don't know if you can see that green shining there. It's a broken mason jar. All right, I'm gonna keep hitting here, folks, and let's see what we can come up with, okay? All right, I'll get back to you. Okay, just scanning along again. I saw this on the surface. My uh, metal detector picked it up. Not sure what this is. Oh, you know what that is? This looks like an old type of lock. You can see the mechanism there for like a door handle or something. But this long piece on the end, I don't know. Could it be a latch uh, uh, for a gate? I'm not sure. Look at that. Huh. Pretty interesting. Maybe I'll have to bring that back and take a better look at it. All right. But also, right next to it, see that green bottle there? Unfortunately, it's broken. That would have been a nice grab. This looks like another blob top. Oh yeah, sure was. Oh my God, look at the eagle on there. Oh, crimolas. This would have been quite an awesome bottle. See, it looks like it's carrying a barrel in its claws down there, you see that? There's the eagle and the wing. Oh, wow. K-R-E-S-S. -S. Something Cress. John Cress, maybe? Oh man, would I have loved to have had this. This would have been a day maker, probably a week maker for me, folks. To get embossing like that is really hard to find. And people love getting bottles like this. Collectors, anyway, such as myself. Over here, next to it, oh, sorry guys, I keep flipping this darn camera. Um, all right, but over next to it, you can see the top of a milk bottle, which is broken right there. So dating this area, I would say it's a uh, very early 1900s, because this is probably around 19, 1910 ish. Wow, look at the thickness on that glass. All right, guys, I'm gonna keep poking around. I'll get back to you. I am getting a solid 60s. It might be tin or, you know, like an aluminum cap or something. But I'm going to dig it because this area is pretty old and I, I really don't know exactly what they are. So I'm going to put my pin pointer down here and let's see what we get. Oh, here it is, right here. It's right next to me. Take a look. Looks like a piece of a lantern. Oh, yeah. Nice looking one. Yeah. It's kind of odd to find it with the stem on it like that. The, the twist knob to raise and lower the wick. Yeah. Pretty cool. That's where the wick went, right in that rectangular looking thing. All right, I'm gonna hold on to that. Hey, I'll get back to you. All right, guys. I got something down here to driving this thing crazy. So I'm gonna try to dig this out a little bit. It's pretty deep. So let me dig at it first. It's probably down about five inches. So let me dig on it and then I'll, I'll get back to you. Hey guys, whatever it is, it's really tight to this tree over here, right against the tree, right in that area. And I'm trying to get down to it. You can hear it there. That's my feedback on my metal detector. All right, so I'm gonna have to spend a little bit, little bit more time getting in here, guys, because it's gonna, it's gonna take a little while. Okay. All right, I'll get back to you. 
Okay, it took a little while, but I was able to pop it out. Let's look right down here. I don't know, can you see it? See that? Right there? Yeah, it's a little spoon. Look at that. A nice little teaspoon. I'm not seeing any pretty on it. I don't, I don't think I'll be able to get it. If I clean it off, I might be able to get a, a manufacturer on there. I'm not sure. But yeah, that's a good find. That's a, well, there is a name on it. See it there? See it's B-L-A-Z maybe? Or P-L-A-Z Plaza? Ooh, that would be interesting. Yeah. Let me see. Let me see if I can clean it up just a tad for you. Something Plaza. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's just Plaza. Wow, oh, cool. I love finding utensils that have uh, dates, I mean, uh, names on it or manufacturers usually down in there somewhere. Yeah, I usually... Yeah, this is definitely a keeper. I rarely find these, by the way, with with names on it like that. So whatever the plaza was, we got a piece of history from there. Okay, guys, I'll get back to you. Okay, I was moving along, and right on the surface here, I don't know if you could see it, right at the tip of my coil, right there, it looks like a mason jar lid. Oh yeah, definitely a mason jar lid. Oh, hero. See that little star in there? Not a star, but that cross in there. And it's a hero glass. And usually around the outsides, around the perimeter here, they'll have uh, patent dates. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if it has the patent dates. No, this one just says uh, genuine hero around the outside that's pretty cool I, I keep these inserts they make nice little uh, wind chimes uh, if one, one day I'll make them for you drill a little hole into them and uh, you get an old bottle and you let the little thing swing back and forth and tap the bottle it's pretty cool I'll show you how to make one one day I don't know when maybe when it's too cold to come out but yeah I'll make one for you but that's a hero mason jar lid okay let me get back here Hey, I got a pretty nice hit here, hitting in the solid 90s. I don't know if you can see it. Definitely diggable, solid 92. Let's see where it is actually. Move this out of the way. Let's see. Yeah, it's still hitting in the 90s. Oh, the glare is too much. Okay. Wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, uh, uh, that's a what it was. It's some sort of um, plaque for something. It says battery something something. Yeah, you see it there? It says battery company. King something battery company. I don't know, maybe I could clean that up because there's uh, looks like some nice uh, writing on there. I can't make it out right now. All right, um, I'll clean it up uh, at the follow-up. All right, let me get back to you. All right, everyone. I was hitting the signal that was... Uh, no, it's not my dog. He's not the signal. <laughs> he walked right over it. But it was a like a high 60s, low 70s. I decided to dig it. And look at that beautiful little buckle down there. That is a sweet buckle. It is brass. I don't know if it was for, you know, like a horse's saddle or whatever the case may be. Could be a belt buckle for all I know. But very nice. Very cool belt buckle. Pretty heavy tip. Okay, I'll get back to you. Guys, I got a solid 40. I mean, it was pegged at 40 in this hole. As I flipped, as I flipped the dirt out, 
I came back and I with my pinpointer and see that down there? Straight here. See that? It's some sort of strap strap holder. Looks to be brass, not sure. Kind of interesting though. Anybody knows what it is? Please let me know because I have no idea what that might be. All right. I'll get back to you. All right, guys. I was rechecking. I got another signal right down here. So let's see. Let's go down and see what this is together. Had the same exact signal. Oh, here it is. Is that it? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it's, it looks like a piece of a nail or a, a rivet of some kind. But this was hitting in the 40s. I'm going to check this again because I don't know if that was it or not. Because that was an iron nail. Usually iron hits much, much lower. Right there. And that's another piece of something. Nice acorn. Where are you? Where are you? This acorn is ringing up. It's funny. I'm not sure about that. Right there. Whatever it is, right there. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Looks like some sort of snap button. I get in the sun here. Maybe see it a little better. Yeah. It looks like a snap of some kind or a button. Looks like it has a little shank there. Not sure. To me, it looks like it might have been some sort of like grommet or something. Okay, yeah. You see it has that double panel there, the double-sided. Uh, so it probably clipped onto something, maybe like a uh, canvas, maybe, or... I don't know. Okay, let me get back here. Hey, I was just filling in this hole where I just picked up those last pieces of metal. Then I just made a little look over here. And look at that. You see the little bottle? Look at that. Right there, alongside this big tree. It seems to be in very good shape. Oh, that's too cool. Let me see if it's blown in the mold. Uh, let's check the seams. It seems to be blown, yeah. It seems to be a blown bottle, folks. Blown in a mold. Yeah. Hey, okay. that's a nice little surprise. It's pretty tiny. No markings on it. But these are always fun to find, and they don't take up much room. Right, that's a keeper. You can see the lip is very uneven yeah, as far as the texture, I mean, as far as the depths and, and all that on it. So you know that this was, this was blown. Okay, plus the seam stops right about here on the neck. Okay, all right, I'll get back to you. All right, guys. I decided I'm going to call it a day. The wind has picked up significantly. 
and um, I'm worried some of the older trees here uh, may fall down so I have some concerns so what I'm gonna be do what I'm gonna be doing is is heading back and uh, I'll show you the finds uh, when I get back to the car all right see you soon all right just got back to the car these are my finds for today now this thing um, I have no idea what it is it looks like some sort of latch you can see here you see the long handle on it it looks like there may have been some sort of wood on there I'm not sure but you can see the little mechanisms in it which would probably indicate to me that it was some sort of door lever see those in there you got brass rings around it and that all right put that there next is this nice little plate which I, which I thought was cool now I did clean it up a little bit and it, it does say electric storage battery company Philadelphia Pennsylvania King Exide mark yes I am and whoop, battery and that I'm not too sure about it. I'd have to clean that up more. There's a uh, stamp on there that says 53. And then below that it says read instructions SH oh read instructions sheet. Hmm. I thought that was pretty neat though. I'm going to hold on to that. This other electrical piece it's really interesting. This is the wire right here. Some rubber wire coating of a wire. But actually, it, it looks like some sort of transmission. You know, not, not the transmission like a car, but like an electronic transmission thing because you don't see any wires coming through. It looks like it's a, a completely sealed. It is made of a heavy aluminum really thick aluminum actually and when I open it up let me just see if I could do it one-handed which I can't oh, there we go all right inside you'll see the porcelain insulator right there the white porcelain insulator some sort of switch and uh, it, it opens up like a an old cigarette lighter it's kind of really kind of cool never seen anything quite like that if you know what it is please let me know there is no writing on it that I could see right away but when I clean it up maybe I will okay next I had two nice brass pieces the first is a buckle let me put this other one down beautiful buckle Isn't that nice I mean it's it's in good shape it's not in perfect shape. It is brass. And I, I can pretty much assure you that, that it's older. And I don't think, uh, just as a guess, I, I would think it wasn't from a belt, but I think it was for some sort of strap, maybe for a, a, a horse bridle or whatever the case may be. I'm not much into horses. Uh, well, I'm into horses, but not with what their hardware is. That's what it could possibly be this I have no idea it looks like something obviously ran through it kind of like a strap you see there we can run the uh, straps through not sure could also be something for electronics as well not sure but it would be something to me that would indicate it was a uh, a strap holder like you'd see on a backpack or something like that mm -hmm. A little grommet, some sort of tie off, or pro probably, you know, maybe a piece of canvas. Uh, of course, it wouldn't be a metal detecting if you didn't find a lantern, part of a lantern. And what I found was pretty interesting is that the, the wheel on this still turned, which is kind of cool. Still turning. nicest one I found the other ones get pretty roached out Here, there's a hero glass mason jar lid 
These are nice, and as I said before, maybe I'll show you how to make a wind chime out of these. Okay. A baby bottle. I like little bottles. And a spoon. That says Plaza. I don't think that's actually the uh, manufacturer. Whoa! Big stick just fell on my car. I guess you heard that little bang. Um, I don't think that's the manufacturer of Plaza. It might be the design of the spoon. It's a Plaza uh, Plaza design. I don't I don't know. Or what I think it is is I think it has to do with the place in which it was used. Well, it doesn't have a whole lot of designage on it. it looks kind of crude up there. Didn't see anything on the on the reverse side. Come on, baby. There. But you see this little spot, this little line here. That may have something in it, but I have to clean it up a little bit better. All right, guys. Hey, it was great to be with you again. It's great to come back outside and start to hit the woods again and not get chiggers. I got the worst case of the chiggers about uh, three weeks ago. So, but it's always good to get out when it's a little bit cooler outside. Uh, and around this area, you've got to worry about ticks and, and all these other uh, little beasties that like to take, <laughs> take blood from you. Okay, so I will see you at the wrap-up. Have a great day, everybody. See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.